Hi, welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. Today we are going to do more decreasing and this time it is slip one, knit two together, pass slip stitch over. Hi, welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. I'm here with Knitting Matter to help you learn to knit the easy way. Right, we are doing more decreasing today with slip one, knit two together, pass slip stitch over. So I'm doing these demos all the time. If you'd like to make sure that you're notified when um, these videos go up, then hit on the little bell along with subscribing and you'll be notified when those videos do appear. Right, now we are decreasing. It's more knitting jargon today. I have a whole knitting jargon playlist which I'll go through at the end and I'll help you work out whether there's anything else in there that you need to. But first of all, let's do this one. Let's get right to it. I've done a few stitches on this row already, so I'm just going to show you slip one, knit two together, pass, slip stitch over. Now the one thing to remember when you're slipping stitches is that if you're decreasing, then you slip it as if you're about to knit it. So we do slip one like this. We then knit two together, which means putting the right hand needle into two stitches at once instead of just one. So we knit two together. And then we take hold of this stitch that we slipped and we move that stitch over the knit two together. And that draws three stitches into one. Right, and let's do that one more time. We're going to slip one as if we were about to knit it. And then we're going to knit two together. And then move that slip stitch over the knit two together. And that's it, it's that simple. And I will show you how it feels on the back when you purl across it. There you go, you can see those bunch stitches in that collection there. So it might feel a bit tight as you go into that stitch because it's holding together three instead of one. And there it is again, you can see the stitches all bunched together. And now, as I finish this row, you can, I can turn it over and you can see how neat that looks. Those stitches are drawn together. Okay, I hope that was helpful for you. You now know how to slip one, knit two together, pass slip stitch over. Like I said, I have a lot more knitting jargon tutorials and I'm going to go through those quickly now, let you know which ones we have. Okay, so we have knit, purl, knit two together, purl two together, SSK, SKPO, yarn forward, yarn round needle, make one, make one purl. Last week we did knit three together and this week we now have slip one, knit two together, pass slip stitch, over. That's quite a lot of jargon. If there's anything else that you would like me to demonstrate in the form of knitting jargon, just getting your head around those abbreviations can be kind of tricky sometimes. So let me know if there's anything else you'd like. I can quickly um, set up a video and we can just keep adding to that knitting jargon playlist. Great. I will see you again next week. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye for now. Happy knitting.